Lucy Show. Starring Lucille Ball. Co-starring Gail Gordon. This project is finished on time, Winslow. You certainly worry a lot, Mr. Mooney. You know what I used to worry, my grandfather would say? You can teach a duck to walk upstairs, but not to hold on to the banister. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Neither does worrying. <laughs> I'll let lightning here do all my worrying for me. Lightning? Come on, lightning. Let's get up so Mr. Mooney can sit down. Come on, girl, let's go. Lightning. Lightning. Let's go. <laughs> well, she may not be so frisky, but she makes a great paperweight. Hi, it's me. Oh, hi, who's what? Oh, you okay? Yeah, boy, am I. <laughs> I mean, yes, I am. Except that when I get up this high, I get a little dizzy. <laughs> hey, that's pretty funny. <laughs> if you think that's funny, you should see the way she keeps booked. Oh, Mr. Mooney. Oh. <laughs> say, uh, it's kind of nice to see you again. Oh, well, it's nice to see you too, Frank, but don't you think you better let me down? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Whoops, there's a phone. Excuse me. Okay, Frank. Well, hi there, Lightning. Why aren't you on duty at the bank? Are you over here on some silly excuse to see Frank Winslow? No, I'm not. I'm over here on bank business. Bank business? Yes, I brought you your lunch. <laughs> at 10 o'clock in the morning? I told you I'd be back by 11. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I don't know how I can be so absent-minded. It's easy when your mind is absent. Hi there, Lightning. Say, Lightning sure likes you, Lucy. Oh, really? How can you tell? Well, she almost wagged her tail. Oh. <laughs> Say, this, this looks like a, 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 a lovely honeymoon cottage type place. Oh, you like it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can imagine it with the nice wallpaper, you know, the yellow daffodil stuff and, and frilly curtains all across the front. And, oh, a cozy love seat up here by the fireplace. Yeah, it certainly would make a nice honeymoon cottage for somebody. Yeah, and you know something, Frank? You just carried me over the threshold. Oh, my golly, I sure did, yes, didn't I? Yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> seen slush in California. <laughs> uh, Frank, we've got to get back to work. You've got to complete three units by Monday, you know. Well, Mr. Mooney, uh, I'm afraid that it's going to take me another year. A year? <laughs> but the fact you said Monday. That's four days. Well, it's a year to me. Uh, my birthday's on Saturday. I'll be a year older. <laughs> <laughs> Is your birthday really Saturday? It sure is. Hey, that's the same day we're having our bank picnic. Really? Yeah, isn't that right, Mr. Mooney? Yes, yes, we like to give our bank employees a day in the open spaces. <laughs> Takes their minds off embezzling. <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, since Saturday's your birthday and all, how would you like to go to the picnic with me? Why, I think that would be wonderful. I'd love to. Good. Then I, I can make a regular birthday party for you. See, I'll make you cake and candles. Oh, uh, well, Lucy, and have... I... I'd rather you didn't uh, go to a big fuss. I, uh, those kind of things kind of embarrass me, you know. Oh, all right, Frank. I hey, understand. boss! Okay. Yeah? Ready to pour cement? 
All right. Well, I guess I'd better get back to work. Okay, Jack. Frank. <laughs> sure nice seeing you, Lucy. Yeah, nice seeing you. Don't forget Saturday now. Oh, I'll be there. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Mooney, I need... Some money to buy a birthday present for Frank. Dee, you read my mind. It was very light reading. I just gotta buy him a present. Now, look, Mrs. Carmichael, wouldn't it be more thoughtful if you made him a little something? I'm sure he'd appreciate that more than if you bought him a gift. That's not a bad idea. A thoughtful, homemade gift. Let's see now, what am I good at making? Trouble. <laughs> but how would you wrap it? Winslow's birthday, I'm going to surprise him and knit him a sweater. Well, I never saw so much yarn in my whole life. <laughs> I just hope he likes red. What made you decide on red? Well, I figured it out psychologically. Frank is big, bold, and bright, so I figured he'd like a big, bold, bright color. <laughs> anyway, the red yarn was on sale. <laughs> so I just have to make all that into a sweater before Saturday. Gee, you know... Sometimes I wish I had a big, tall boyfriend like Frank instead of my short, skinny Harold. Oh, come now. Harold has his good points. Yeah, I guess so. I could knit him a sweater in an hour. <laughs> He's the only man I know with a size two neck. <laughs> oh! What? I just remembered. I don't know Frank's size. How can I knit him a sweater if I don't know his size? You don't know his size? No, and, and I've got to know how, how big his chest is and how, how long he is uh, front and back and, the, and the, oh, what am I going to do? Give him the needles and yarn and tell him it's a do-it-yourself sweater. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to have to go back out to that construction site and, and get his measurements. Oh, Lucy, then he'll know you're giving him a present and it won't be a surprise. Well, not if I do it in a sneaky way. How do you do that? I don't know. It's so sneaky, I haven't figured it out yet. I'll be right back. See you later. Okay. Hi, Frank. Well, hi there, little lady. Well, this is certainly an unexpected pleasure. <laughs> what brings you way out here? Well, I was doing some shopping for the bank picnic, and I thought maybe I'd better ask you what you like to eat. Oh, well, I just love turkey. Oh, a uh, nice turkey sandwich? No, the whole turkey. <laughs> hey, I'm I'm joking. Joking. hey, boss. Yeah? You want to give me the order for the lumber? All right, I'll uh, check my worksheet and get right back to you. Oh, you go ahead. You go ahead with your work. I'll just stick around. All right, well, you make yourself right at home. Okay, thank you. <laughs> oh, hi there, lightning. Hi. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> 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 so you got the uh, 48 16 foot 2 before us. 48, right. And said about uh, 75 18 foot 2 for 12. 75. Yeah. And uh, all about 150 uh, 8 foot 2 before us. 150, I got it. <laughs> oh, and uh, said. Better get about 24 feet of uh, door molding for these last three units. Okay. <laughs> oh, uh, looking for something, Lucy? Uh, yeah, the plans. Oh, well, maybe you'd like to see the whole layout. Oh, yeah, I see. Well, we got them right here. <laughs> <laughs> Lucy. 
I should show you blueprints more often. Oh, Well, Frank, I'm afraid I... Oh? I hadn't better stay like this, Earl. The people will talk a lot of the... Oh, I <laughs> I'd better right. look at them from out here. <laughs> well, uh... This, uh, this print shows the whole 32 acres here. Nineteen and a half. No, 32. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, uh, there's about 64 units in this whole, uh, development here, Lucy. Twenty-four. Uh, 64? Yeah. Uh, home, excuse me. What's the matter, Lucy? Oh, I'm so clumsy. I was looking at the fireplace. I dropped my keys in there. Oh, well, now, let's not get wrinkles in that pretty little forehead there. You just let old Frank get those keys for you, huh? Okay, old Frank. <laughs> you do your work. Oh. I don't want to. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be running along. Okay. I'll see you later. Uh. Oh! Oh! that fixed. But I think I better change my clothes. I don't allow anybody to be plastered on the job. <laughs> on the phone. Well, I, I didn't know what had happened to you. I came over here to see if you were ill. No, I'm not ill. I just overslept. What time is it? Well, if you hurry, you can get to the bank just in time for your lunch break. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Oh, don't apologize. Without you there, we've had one of the quietest days since Roosevelt closed the bank. <laughs> Excuse. Oh, I'm sure you have, and I love to hear your excuses. Well, now, it just so happens that I was up all night knitting. Knitting? Yeah. You? Oh, that's a good one. It was your idea. You told me to make something for Frank Winslow's birthday, and I did. Oh. But I didn't finish it until 4 o'clock this morning. Now, look. <laughs> What is that, a cover for his car? No, it's a sweater. A sweater? You must be kidding. Oh, thank goodness. No, no, it's not a joke. It isn't? No. Oh, well, now, how could even you make it that big? I don't know. I guess it's because I was in such a rush and I've had to do it at night. I, most of the time, I was knitting while I was sleeping. <laughs> Dear, I, I, I can't give it to him like this. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, give it to him. Tell him it's a turtleneck rug. Gee, <laughs> hey, Mr. Mooney. Hey, you gotta help me. 
week. Try it on. Try it on? I only have an hour for lunch. No, no. <laughs> Take off your coat. Well, uh, if well, you try it on and oh, I see oh, it on I somebody, maybe I'll be able to, to fix it. it. Well, I, well, I just got to see I, it. How'd you get into it? Where is it? Tomorrow is his birthday. I was going to give it to him at the picnic. Now everything is ruined. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Why don't you shrink it? What? Why don't you shrink it? Shrink it? Yeah, yeah. Hot water shrinks wool. Hey, that's right. Yeah. That's right. I, I, could, I could put it in a tub of boiling water and boil it for a couple of hours. Huh? Okay, okay, take it off. Oh, yeah. If I'm not out of here in three days, send in a searching party. <laughs> so, but it was damp when Frank came to pick me up, so I had to put it in the box wet. But, uh, oh, boy, I hope he likes oh, it. I hope he likes it, Hell Lucy. Yeah. I'm going out and get it right okay, now. Okay, I'll it see you. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, all right, you asked for it. A little rest of us, we would come up with you. Six. I was the shortest in the bunch. Oh, oh, come on now. Don't tell me you have brothers taller than you are. What brothers? I got sisters. Oh, you're joking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, don't joke now, Frank. Tell me about yourself. I really want to know. You really do? Yeah. Well, let me see. When I was a kid, uh, I got second prize in the spelling bee. Oh, too bad you didn't win first. Oh, I didn't want to. What do you mean, you didn't want to? Well, second prize was what I really wanted. What was it? Para roller skate. <laughs> what was the first prize? Well, the first prize was a big red sled. You don't like sleds? Oh, I love sleds, but I just hate the color red. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, uh, you hate red? 
Yeah. You see, when I went to school, if I got a bad mark on my report card, the teacher used to draw a big red circle around it. So that's why you ain't red? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Seems like that was all my parents ever saw was that big red circle around the bad mark. Yeah, so you hate red. Yeah. Well, uh, with one exception, I, uh, I just love your red hair. <laughs> oh, uh, look, Frank. Look at that bird over there. Isn't that a yellow-breasted sapsucker? Who were, Lucy? I don't see that bird. Lucy, is this yours? That's the one you had in the automobile. Oh, yeah, so it is. Uh, how'd you get it, Mary Jane? Well, I was standing over there with Harold, and he was about to kiss me, and it hit him and knocked him down. <laughs> For heaven's sake. Well, thank you, Mary Jane. Thank you very much. Okay, I'll see you later. I gotta get back here and pick up Harold. <laughs> uh, Frank. Don't you think you uh, should go and let lightning out of the car for a little exercise? Oh, that's a good idea, Lucy. Okay. Say, you know something? What? You're one of the most considerate gals I ever met. Oh, no. I was just thinking that lightning might enjoy the picnic and all these trees. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> Burying that sweater. <laughs> burying the sweater? Yes. Why? Well, I had to bury it after I found out that Frank took the skates instead of the sled because all his parents ever looked at were those big circles. What? <laughs> Here comes Frank. Shh. Lucy? Yeah? I gotta thank you on behalf of Lightning. For what? Oh, she was so tickled to get out of that car. She sent you this. <laughs> Lightning sent me that? Well, actually, she kissed me on the hand, but uh, I just raised the sights a little. Oh. <laughs> Come and get it! Well, shall we join the bunch for lunch and punch? <laughs> you better help me carry this. Uh, Lucy? Yeah? Would you mind if we didn't eat with the bunch? I mean, if we just kind of ate alone? Why, no, I'd love that. Oh, wonderful. Right here. <laughs> well, that's wonderful, Frank. Well, what do you got? Well, I think you'll like what I have. Holy... <laughs> you did it! <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Retriever. She's not asleep. Yeah, well, she picked a fine time to get a burst of energy. <laughs> Say, Lucy. Yeah? You've been acting mighty mysterious about that package all day long. What is it? Uh, well, uh... Say, wait a minute. You didn't go out and buy me a birthday present, did you? No, I swear. I didn't buy you a present, Frank. <laughs> uh, well, it, it's, uh... It's a surprise. <laughs> well, can I see it? Oh, I guess you might as well, Frank. You see, I didn't know what to do for your birthday. You didn't want any big fuss or anything, and didn't want anybody buying you a present, and... Well, even though you hate red, go ahead and open it. <laughs> Why, that's wonderful, Lucy. It is. Yeah. Why, who else would have dreamed of knitting lightning in a sweater? <laughs> She'll just love the color red. Well, uh, that wonderful. <laughs> yeah. Maybe red will keep her awake. <laughs> yeah. Well, well uh, I wonder if it'll fit her. Well, let's try it on. Oh, and okay. Find out. Here you are, honey. Come, Come on. on, baby. Lucy's got something. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.